In the future, we'll be able to track everything about you. Using smart devices or even implants, we'll be able to know not just how many steps you walk and how fast your heart is beating. We'll be able to know how well you're sleeping, how well you are feeling. We'll be able to know who you met, what you said, and maybe even get a summary and some insights into that afterwards. Yes, with smart technologies and AI-assisted uh, interventions in our lives, we'll get a lot of information and be able to do something with that. Huh. I wonder what that future feels like to you. My name is Graham Codrington. This is Throw Forward Thursday. And if you know anything about the work that I do, you'll know that I am an optimistic futurist. Maybe some would even call me idealistic. I like to imagine that the best of worlds is possible, that all of the new technologies advance and advances that we develop will all be used for good. And I do think that largely uh, we do improve the world as we go along in history. But I cannot deny that any advance which has a positive upside also has a negative dark side, at least a possibility uh, of that happening. And over the last few weeks, I've been talking about ways in which we can improve our well-being and our workplaces uh, by using data and smart technologies and tracking devices and so on. And I think that we will be able to do that. But I keep getting messages from people. Uh, many of them maybe have worked for really bad employers in the past because they keep reminding me that what they don't want is to have a big brother boss looking over their shoulder, tracking their keystrokes, checking in on their sleeping to make sure uh, that they're doing it all properly, overseeing their mental health in a way that is designed to squeeze more productivity out of them. And I hear you. I hear that that is possible. <laughs> and I, I pity people who unfortunately have to work in environments like that. So as we look into the future then, is there a way for us to think about where that dividing line is? Where the dividing line is between gathering data and monitoring whatever information can be monitored in order to improve our lives, where does that line come where it starts to actually be a problem? And I think that the answer is, is it for my benefit? Is it for my benefit? If we have an employer who makes uh, tracking software available to check how many hours I'm working, to check how hard I'm working, and then uses that information to make sure that my well-being is both protected and enhanced, well, then we're in a situation where it's to my benefit. And I think in that situation, we'd probably accept it. If we have health tracking data, that is not there for our bosses to be able to say, hey, I see you took a longer lunch break than you should have, or why are you sleeping in uh, on a Tuesday morning? But rather for our companies, for our bosses to be able to track where and when we can give our best to the business and when it's time to take a break. And we even get uh, invitations and messages from our bosses saying, Take the morning off. I think you need it. You're going to be a better person and therefore a better employee if you do. So for me, it's not about limiting the technology or regulating the data that is captured, but it is about ensuring that we use all of that for the benefit of other people. When you build an organization, when you build a team, when you yourself are a leader or a boss that shows totally consistent commitment to improving the overall well-being of the people in your team and in your business, those people begin to trust you uh, to be able to build an environment in which they can not only give you their best, but they can actually be their best 
and live their best lives. This is so far beyond the work-life balance conversation that I don't even want to mention that label because this is about optimizing people's lives and making sure that working for you is just part of what makes their lives worth living. Yeah, this is not really a message for the future, is it? This is a message for now and I hope you take it seriously. Thanks as always for joining me in the Throw Forward Thursday studio. I'll see you next week in the future again.